Boop the gooies, and today we'll be continuing flip flappers. Okay, last time on flip flappers. Okay, so Yayaka basically, whether she wants it or not, is kicked out of the evil side of flip flap. Whatever, I still don't know what it's called. But. So. Uh, she might be dead. She's either extremely... Well... No, because the ending of last episode, after the credits... I think there was an after credits scene. I don't remember, but... They have Yayaka in flip-flap. Supposedly getting help. I mean, you know, fixed. So hopefully she doesn't die. But... I'm just assuming Yayaka and Papika won't be getting along this episode most likely maybe and we end up finding out Mimi was Papika's partner and Papika referred to Mimi as a girl or a she so it's not whoever that person was that we saw hiding behind like a rock three or four episodes back I don't know what that was all about because Mimi's apparently it's a she I guess. So I don't really know much of what's going on, but all I know is Toto and Yu Yu are now going to be working with the third child, which has perfect impedance or something. So that makes me think that isn't even a real child. It's like a child of pure illusion. I don't know. But now it's 3v3. If Yayaka isn't going to die, or she is, I don't, I mean, we'll see. So I'm going to start this in three. Two, one, what? Oh, so she's not? Wait, oh, what are man. Where are you taking her? She dead? She is an enemy here. We can't keep her at the base. She's not our enemy. What? She hasn't regained consciousness yet. Okay, she's breathing. Doesn't matter. Yayaka is still my friend. Dr. Salt, please. Is this the most screen time Dr. Salt has gotten? Who are you? Okay, nice. Hurry up and take her. She's breathing! Yayaka is not... Who are you? That's the third child. Brought for pure illusion to this material world. They've all been confirmed by me! The operation will begin as soon as Yayaka's coordinates have been located. But Toto is still... It has been decided. Oh, that's right. Toto got hurt. What about me? You will stand down. How wow. Oh, the third child's cute. Okay, I'm a little confused on what's going on. This again. Be nice to your mom this time, Coconut. She looks too young, actually. What the? You're who? What? Okay. <laughs> Bro, you gotta stop saying that. Sorry to disappoint you again. You're making <laughs> Token is getting too jealous, bro. You gotta stop saying that. Why can't you just say it? Who is Mimi? <laughs> Yay. Careful, you still need to rest more. Rats will show merciless in their nastiness. Yeah, for real. Your partners in helping you with all the collecting? Yeah, that's what they were originally created to do. What? They were created with the power of amorphous. Each of them has a beacon inside of them so that we can travel to pure illusion. Okay.
Why is that thing moving? They're listening. Bro, that's messed up. Dude, why is there- why do they keep doing this? Okay, who's Papika really? Who's Yayaka really? And who's that person that Coconut sees on the boat? And who's Dr. Salt? What is going on? So they're just being- okay. The Combine are coming now. <laughs> what the? Wow, okay, flip flaps just being dunked. Get out of here. You can't cook enough. You must come with us. You want me? Why is that? The shard? You don't know. Or your amorphous or whatever? What what you have your own amorphous inside of you. Huh? I What? No way. Oh, oh, I almost want to pause it. Okay, what? I thought we already knew that she had a shard. It's in her upper, it's in her thigh, right? I guess I'm kind of confused. Wasn't that the whole point of last episode? Let's go. It Wasn't that the whole point of last episode? Yayaka was about to cut it out of her. So, how, why are we not supposed to know that until right now? I'm a little confused. Yeah, who is Mimi? Is it, is it, is it Kokona's mom? Does Kokona have a sister? Okay, so that's Mimi. Why does it look like Coconut? Is that Dr. Salt? Oh. Wait, no, that's Dr. Wait, no. It looks like he has his hair. But then how old is Papika? Papikana, that's right. Just Poppy? Oh, rip. Hmm. Is she gonna crawl butt? Oh, <laughs> she's gonna crawl butt naked in Mimi's room. <laughs> Wrong room. Yeah. What? How old is Papika? Yeah, we're sort of friends. Papika must be really old. It's like this friggin' big. All water. That's not possible. Who could drink all that water? I swear it's true. I saw it when they first brought me to this place. There were white flowers blooming everywhere and flowers? Flowers. Haven't you seen them? Well, are there any flowers around here? They're all I've ever known is this room. I am the one 
Poppycat, that's where she got the name from. They sneak her out? Let's go. What's what's Salt's dad's name? Pepper? <laughs> that was pretty cringe. I'm sorry. Okay, they got people watching over. So whack. Whoa, so this is the first pure illusion jump or whatever? Why do you have a shard in you, though? So much is happening in this one episode. Okay. No, you always look amazing. The combine are there, yup. Grandma, run! Get out of here! Look. Grandma, you're left. Sorry about all this, my dear. I don't understand. What is this? You can go ahead and take her. No way! I just my bro. This is stupid. I feel so bad for her now. Everything's a lie? That's Mimi, right? The color? Dude, I'm so confused. <clears throat> So that explains why the grandma was taking Kokona to that weird office to get tested, or like the hospital to get tested, right? Because she's in on it, I guess? Rip the grandma. Dude, the grandma was hype up to this point. She was so cool. Dude, this sucks. Okay, so they're robots. Yeah, straight up robots, okay. Her eyes. From now on, mother will always protect you. Coconut. Dude. Oh, I knew it. Oh my gosh, this is epic. Oh dude, no, I can't I got I can't hold it in. Oh my gosh. I knew it. I knew it. It's me. Okay, so. Is Dr. Salter dead? I felt like we got more. I'm not even kidding. We got more story in this one episode than we have the past 10 episodes. Or however many episodes. I don't even know what episodes we're on. Everything around Coconut's fake. Yayaka's only there. She's not really her friend. She's just kind of there to be watching over because she has a shard that's like in her. I know that's what they said, but I do really think that Yayuka, there is a bit of her that is still their genuine friends. So, I think that's still a thing. But. Okay. Mimi is Kokona's mom. And Kokona's dad is Dr. Salt. 
if I had to guess. I mean, we don't really... We know. I mean, it literally said it. At the very end, Mimi, like, came out of a mirror. Or, I don't know. So we saw power come out somehow. And it said, like, she's... Mimi said something like, Mama's here now, or something like that. She confirmed. Mimi is Kokona's mom. And the other thing... Dude, this show... I mean, this episode right here... How does that happen? They didn't even go into Pure Illusion this episode. And it was more crazy than when they're in Pure Illusion. Holy moly. Kokona's entire life is a lie. It's literally the Truman Show. If you haven't seen that movie, go watch it. Oh. Oof. I kind of just spoiled the movie. Oof. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'll put, like, Truman Show spoilers in, like, the discussion. I'll, I'll like, I'll say in case you guys want to watch. I, okay, anyways. Okay, anyways. Okay. So, yeah. Her entire life has been basically a lie. So, oh, I don't even know where to begin. So, okay. We are kind of right, I think. The third child of Amorphous or something is like made well so is Toto and Yuyu that's why they're so robotic they're like made from the Emorphous apparently that's why they're so robotic and like weird so and apparently they're not real people or they're like a breed or I don't I'm, I'm a little confused because they use I mean if we get more episodes like this I'll get less confused but up to this point they haven't really said much of any actual story for like the past 10 episodes like seriously so, okay, we kind of figured out a little of this from last episode. I think it was last episode where we saw a young Coconut and Yayaka in the hospital, and I was confused because I was like, why is the grandma here? They're getting tested with, like, tubes and stuff? Like, what? And then, like, the doctors were acting all weird when they tried running away. So I'm like, the grandma has to be somewhat into this, knowing what's kind of going on. So it is the truth. I mean, we were right. The grandma is kind of... Uh, this sucks, man. <sighs> this sucks. I really like the grandma. So she's not even in a wheelchair, apparently. And it doesn't seem like she even cares about... Co Dude, this is awful. How could she gonna, like, kill herself? Well, maybe not, because now she... Uh, I mean, she meets her mom, and she's been seeing her dad this whole time, which is Dr. Salt. I've been saying this since, like, episode two, I think. I don't quite remember, but I knew it. I didn't know, but I had a feeling at some point we would be seeing Kokoda's mom in some form because of the fact that when they went to that stranded island with the lighthouse, Papika asked Kokona, what would you wish for if you get all the shards? And it would be like see her parents again or something. And then Papika, or yeah, Papika was like, don't worry, I think you, she said something like, don't worry, you'll see them again, I think. Something like that. So, this kind of sucks too because does Papika really even care about Kokona? Because it seems like she's just kind of watching over her because she has like a built in emo or shard or whatever the heck. Emorphous or something but then I'm also kind of confused because they made it like a seem like it was a big like <gasps> moment in the show when they mentioned that she has like a shard in her I mean are we just like crazy or something because we already know that she has a shard in her right because Papika has the shard but it's like on her ankle and then Coconut had one in her upper thigh but, I mean, we've known this for, like, multiple episodes now, right? So, are we just, like, smarter than the show? Or am I missing something? Because, I mean, we know she has a shard in her, so I'm kind of confused. Are we not supposed to know that until now? Because what about last episode? Why did Yayaka have a knife and it was going for her thigh? Because she has the shard or whatever the heck it's called in her thigh, right? So, 
I'm a little confused on how we're not supposed to know. How does Coconut not know? Her thigh, like, lights up. She's had multiple people try reaching for her upper thigh. Sounds kind of strange, but they have. And, I mean, her thigh, like, lights up when she's, like, transforming. I mean, how do they not already know that? I thought that was just kind of a thing we knew. We didn't really understand it, but, I mean, now we kind of do. So, it seems to be... I mean, I'm a little confused. I mean, we know how she has a shard in her rather than one with her. It's because she's like been, she's been like born from somebody who is like in the whole system, like amorphous. So her mom must be like part, I don't, I don't know. She's like an amorphous child or something like that. And because of that, I'm just assuming the father is Dr. Salt. So they somehow, they, they, you know, they did the dirty, had coconut, and that's why she looks so similar to the person that we saw in the boat the whole time that we also called and said, I bet that's the mom. And it was. That's coconut's mom. But I'm a little confused. Okay. Dr. Salt called Papika something other than her name and then Papika said that's not my name anymore it's Co oh no it's Papika now what was that what happened okay so Dr. Salt called her Papika or Papikana and then Papika says that's not my name now now it's Papika the elephant in the room now at this point is why does Papika look the way she is She didn't seem like she aged too much. I mean, Dr. Salt looked younger or around the same age as Papika at that point in time. How old are Coconut and Papika? I mean, Coconut's, I guess, supposed to be like, what? 14, 15, 16? So that means Dr. Salt has to be at least like 30 plus. Because I'm just going to start at the very young age or whatever. I don't know. Maybe he... This is assuming Dr. Salt is Pop, uh, Coconut's dad. So that would have to mean that somehow Dr. Salt got Mimi pregnant at like 15 something. 15-ish. because Or younger. I mean, he looked really young. I don't know, 14, 15, he got Mimi pregnant, maybe. And then that's would make Dr. Salt around 30 something ish or 30 or yeah. And then that's when Coconut is now like 15 ish. You see what I'm saying? Something. It's just kind of. I'm a little confused. But then he also says that Coconut. Or yeah, Dr. Salt then says, Papika, you must have gotten your memories back. Which means her memories must have been wiped at some point. And that's why the show is so confusing on why, like, it started, Papika came out of nowhere looking for Coconut. So does Coconut know? I mean, her memories aren't coming back. This is assuming she had memories at some point that got wiped from her. Which must have been the case because how does her grandma that she's lived with apparently forever. She's like not. She's like part of the system of like the whatever's going on. So. uh, What? I don't know guys. I am a little confused. I don't think I'm really supposed to fully understand exactly what's happening So yeah, we end up finding out that the other side which I still don't know the combine I don't know what their names are. I'm pretty sure they told us but I don't remember the bad side the the bad flip-flap is Trying to gather all the shards and Yayika said it was for world domination Which she kind of just exaggerated which it kind of it still kind of is but not really it's to control pure illusion. That's the way they want all the shards. But if you can, uh, if you can control pure illusion, then you can control the world. 
so it's kind of still the same thing. But so yeah, I was right. This show is creepy. And it has been since the start. It's creepy in a cute way. It's like a it's like a creepy the show's creepy. But it has like a cute tone put on it. Like you know what I'm saying? This literally is the whole the plot is creepy. But they have like a really cute texture put on top of it. But it, it is a creepy... They're kidnapping kids. The kid's living a lie. They're putting them in cages. Or like having robots capture them. <laughs> they're being taken against their will. They'll be like brought into this... Being brought into like this weird world. I mean, it's like a creepy Alice in Wonderland. But I don't hate Toto and Yu Yu as much anymore. Because of the fact that we now know they're not like fully real children so that makes sense the reason they act that way but then who's this third child of amorphous she must be pretty powerful because mimi is also a child of amorphous right i hope the grandma i don't know this sucks man that really hurt seeing the grandma like that oh man that was so heartbreaking and then this would this explain now what the heck what is yuke skill is yuke skill like a spy <laughs> like what is it he has to be part of it now right i mean something's going on i don't know or maybe was this some type of pure illusion and the grandma's not in on it but then she has to be because then why were they at the hospital and why was yayaka there so the grandma must know what's going on uh, so here is what I'm thinking is going on. Dr. Salt is Kokona's dad. Dr. Salt is trying to gather the shards to... Somehow Mimi is stuck in pure illusion, something like that. He's going to gather the shards to get Mimi back. So they can be together again, or something like that. I'm thinking that's why he's wanting the shards. Is, is Papika, is she even real? I mean, why is she, she's like the same age as Kokona. But she was, so she, she has to be like 30 plus. Tw she has to be 25 plus. In all reality. Because she was like the same age as Dr. Salt at one point. But she didn't age. So what the heck is happening? I don't know, dude. Wow, this episode is whack. But like I said, we got more story in this one episode than we have... What episode is this? Okay, yeah. This is episode 10. We got more story in this one episode than we did the past nine. I don't know what is going to happen. I'm assuming it's going to be Flip Flap. Oh, yeah. And by the way, Flip Flap, it's rest in peace. The whole place got blown up. They self-destructed the entire building, apparently. Uh, it, it, is the city they're in, the town, are they, is it even a real town? You know what I'm saying? Like, is anybody real? Yeah, I, I guess I'm going to end it here. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, boys. That, that was insane. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching.